industrial theft, <laughs> and uh, tits. Mm, what a combo. This is the story. The inventor of the modern foundation garment that we women wear today was a German scientist and upper lover by the name of Otto Titsley. This is a true story. His name was Otto Titsley. What happened to Otto Titzling shouldn't happen to a schnauzer. It's a very sad story. I feel I have to share it with you. Otto Titzling, inventor and kraut, had nothing to get very worked up about. His inventions were failures, his future seemed bleak. He fled to the opera at least twice a week. One night at the opera, he saw an Aida, whose tits were so big, they would often impede her. But I, he watched her fall into the pit, done in by the weight of those terrible tits. Oh my God, there she blows! Aerodynamically, this bitch was a mess. Otto eyeballed the diva lying comatose amongst the reeds, and he suddenly felt the fire of inspiration flood his soul. He knew what he had to do. He ran back to his workshop where he futzed and futzed and futzed. For Otto Titzling had found his quest to lift and mold the female breast, to point the small ones to the sky, to keep the big ones high. and snort, searching for the right support. He tried some string and paper clips. Hey, he even tried his own two lips. <laughs> well, he stitched me, slayed me, slayed me, stitched. Until finally, one night, in the wee hours of morning, Aho arose from his workbench, triumphant. Yes, he had invented the world's first over-the-shoulder bowler holder. He ran down the street to the diva's house, bearing the prototype in his hot little hand. Now the diva did not want to try the darn thing on, but after many initial misgivings, she finally did. And the sigh of relief that issued forth from the diva's mouth was so loud that it was mistaken by some to be the early onset of the Sirocco winds which would often blow through the short ball with a vengeance. Uh, But little did I know, at the moment of his greatest triumph, uh, lurking under the diva's bed, was none other than the very worst of the French patent thieves, Philip de Brazier. <laughs> and Phil was watching the scene with a great deal of interest. Later that night, while our Brunhilde slept, into the wardrobe, Philippe softly crept. He fumbled through knickers and corsets galore till he found Otto Stitzling and he ran out the door. Crying, oh my God, what joy of this. I'm gonna make me a million from this. Every woman in the world will wanna buy one. I can have all the goods manufactured in Swindle is pointedly clear. Do you buy a titsling? 